Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, my name is Coaster Chal and welcome to Coaster Chal YouTube channel. <laughs> Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, Coaster Chal here, Don Gasterborn, Bob Bill for Theme Parks and welcome to a Theme Park Newsroom update where today we're going to be looking at Leesburg and they have announced a brand new themed area of the theme park called Luna Park. Now this is a two-phase project for 2022 and the 100th anniversary in 2023. So we're going to look at all the details around the attractions and what's going to be happening per year and share my thoughts on this brand new area. So before we get started, please do like the video if you loved it, comment down below your thoughts and opinions, subscribe if you are new around here, click the notification bell so you don't miss YouTube video, check the description down below for social media links and the Google Forms link where you behind the camera can submit your own video ideas and for now guys, let's have a look at exactly what's going on with Leesburg and their brand new Luna Park area. So as I said, Luna Park will be open in two phases over 2022 and 2023. Now for 2022, the celebration begins with the area Luna Park, as well as two new family rides, Turbo and Tempest. Now Turbo is actually a technical park attraction, uh, that's the manufacturer, technical park. Uh, it's an interactive ride where you can take a seat in the sidecar on a motorcycle and decide for yourself when and how much you should ride around or up and down again. Now Tempus is a Zamperla Nebula's attraction. With meticulous precision, the movement is captured in the compressor's enormous presence um, at an ever increasing pace this technical marvel takes you on a ride that you've never experienced before a ride that will turn both time and space out of line it's a ride for the whole family that puts time and space out of play with extraordinary precision the four axes rotating in perfect harmony taking you up and down and around now also in Luna Park, you can have a ride on the Aerospin, the Gerslau Skyfly, which has been at the park for a numerous amount of years. You've got the Children's Paradise, which is a little explorer area. You've got Flower Carousel, which is another attraction uh, that is still there. And of course, you can have a nice sit down and a break in Emily's Garden Cafe. Now... The second phase of this project is 2023, where you can fly to the moon for your first try. Now this is Luna, so this is a Vacoma family boomerang coaster. Uh, now we've got a height of 33.5 meters, a length of 242 meters, but the ride is 484 meters, a speed of 68 kilometers per hour, 20 people with a capacity of approximately 720 people per hour and a length limit of 95 centimeters to ride and of course it will be manufactured by Vacoma. It will be the tallest and fastest of its kind in the world and it's the roller coaster going forwards and then backwards and it's the biggest attraction added to the area just in time for the 100th anniversary. So with an inhuman force, you are pulled back when the machine tends its huge muscles. Muscles whose power will throw you all the way to the moon, least. So Turbo and Tempest will be the first phase. The second phase will be Luna. Now about the area itself, come and be impressed by technical wonders and incomparable machines in the city's glittering Luna Park. The most prominent machines are in a row ready to give you a taste of the future. Incomparable inventions that take you both travel time and trip to the old man in the moon. So Leesburg have thought really well about all the different things about this area. Now I'm going to share my thoughts about what I think and to what's going on at Leesburg for next year and the year after. There we are ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages. That is speaking about Leesburg's brand new investment for next year and the year after. Now this one's been a very interesting project to cover. Now we first started covering rumours and circulation about the 2023 anniversary uh, season when we saw the documents a couple of years ago, nearly three years ago, about this Chapas style flume ride to replace the originating flume ride. Um, like a Chapas style flume attraction to replace the original log flume. And, you know, the, I think there were suggestions at the time of a lunar theme. Obviously, that's not the case. Obviously, in th nearly three years, the plans have changed. It, it looks like the plans could have been changed. Um, 
I feel like this could be a wonderful addition to the pack. Pete, there's a few enthusiasts that I know are going to have that opinion of they're a little bit let down because of you know what was speculated beforehand, but I think I've got the general consensus from the community as well. I think this is going to be a fantastic addition to Leesburg. I think they've really put some time and thought into this. Um, it, let's go through the attractions one by one, shall we? So obviously we, we don't need to go through the stuff that's already there. The children's garden, the carousel, the garden cafe, aero spin, you know, that's all good. I'm talking about the three new attractions. So first of all, Turbo. This is your technical park ride. Uh, so you're sitting in this carriage, up, down, forward, backward, you know. The decision's up to them whether they go up or down. So it's one of those kind of rides, really. I think that's a good ride. Nice little family ride there. Um, I feel like, you know, I think families of all ages are going to really enjoy that one. Um, I would say that the age range is perfect for this area because it targets the sort of younger and older thrill seekers. So um, I think Turbo's more targeted to the younger thrill seekers in a way. Now, um, Tempest, I think that is a, could be a wonderful attraction for the park. San Perla Nebulas, um, I think that's a brilliant choice. Um, I think they've chosen brilliantly here. San Perla have done a wonderful job with these Nebulas attractions before. So no reason why this one can't be a, a, just as good, if not better. Um, the theme of the rides as well. Turbo, really nicely well lit and themed. Tempest, same thing, the story behind Tempest, love it. Um, like I said, the whole design of it and the architecture and the landscaping behind it all comes together like a jig jigsaw puzzle. All the pieces fit in the right place. Then we go on to Luna, the tallest and fastest family boomerang coaster in the world. Wow. This looks amazing. This is the perfect addition to Leesburg. You look at the coasters, the kind of coasters they've got now. You've got your family coasters and your sort of moderate thrill level coasters like your Leesburg Banan. Then you've got your high level thrill coasters, your Valkyria, your Boulder, your Leesburg, uh, your Helix. When I say Leesburg, it's at Leesburg. Your Boulder, your Valkyria, your Helix. This is part of the Leesburg Banan section. This is like the moderate thrill. This is like the, the bridge in the gap of family and thrill. And I think this is a perfect station. You want a coaster that goes forwards, you want a coaster that goes backwards. And I think some of those elements were taken from the original rumours about the flume ride from a few years ago. You know, because Chapas goes backwards and has forward elements. I think they're taking elements of that and put it into that boomerang coaster. So I feel like there's elements of this that maybe could suggest it could have been for the flume ride, but is now for this family boomerang goes to by Vekoma. And again, Vekoma, wonderful choice. Really revolutionizing the roller coaster at the moment. You know, perfect choice this day and age. Couldn't have asked for more than that. The station from a distance looks incredible. The trains for this ride, the trains look stunning. The logos for the rides and the area looks amazing. Um, I, I just think this could be a wonderful ride and a wonderful area for the theme park. Now, of course, this is going... I can't remember the old name of the attraction, but this is going where an old attraction used to be. Bearing in mind, one old attraction is being replaced by this. One. Just one. And... I, I, this... What Leesburg are doing is really revolutionising that area of the theme park, and I really love that they're doing that. So, Leesburg can be so proud of themselves for what they're doing here. So, big up to Leesburg. Thank you very, very much for this theme park news from update. Make sure you do like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell, see you in this YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Shell, kill on the coast of life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a lunar-tastic day. Keep your head back. Hold on tight. You must escape.